Welcome to Evolve Stretch 2. I'm Jana. This stretch program is based on the foundations of Evolve Stretch 1. By committing to being here today, you're giving your body the opportunity to recover and restore, which is the recipe for better fitness results. Like Stretch 1, we're going to work through three different techniques, six stretches, and then do them twice for complete benefit. Now, you might be a Mod 3 in your strength and your agility program, but that doesn't necessarily mean you'll be a Mod 3 here. Check in with your body, it's a different program. Be humble, no judgment. Let's introduce my friends. This is your Mod 1 here, so if you're a little bit tighter in your body, watch my friend Courtney here. She's got those tight hips and those tight shoulders, right? Yeah, I so do. this is your Mod 1, this is your goal if you know you're tight in your body. And we have Degay. So this is your mod too. Okay, if you're a little bit tighter in your body, you have some flexibility, maybe like a seven out of 10, this is your guy, right? Oh yeah. Okay. And we have Candace over here. Hi hey. girl, how you doing? I'm good, thanks. Good, we're gonna go bebop later. Yes, for sure. <laughs> she is your flexible one, right? So if you're mod three and you know you have those nice long muscles, this is your girl here. Okay, yeah. let's have some fun. Let's do it. Are you guys ready to get going? Oh yes. So just remember, you can always evolve up or mod down. Most importantly, check in with your body. And if you're unsure at any time, come see me in the tutorials and we'll give you the step-by-step -step to make sure that you're practicing safely in your body. All right, so first movement we're gonna do is contract and relax stretch. So we're gonna start with lunge with upper body push. So we're gonna bring that right foot forward, left foot back. This technique is where we inhale for five breaths, we hold the breath, and then as you exhale, you move into that next place of barrier in terms of your stretch. So let's reach those arms forward. Let's hear you breathe, you guys. Take a big inhale, let's start this out right. Breathe deeply, hold three, four, Five. Now, as you exhale, you're thinking of pushing your left glute forward, pushing the hip forward as you rotate towards that front leg. And then you do it again. Take an inhale, breathe in, hold your breath. One, two, three. You know I'm coming. Four, <laughs> five. Exhale. Awesome. You get more range of motion with that exhale. Beautiful. This is your mod two. Big inhale, hold the breath, and exhale. Good, so with the mod two, there's shorter distance between the feet. You're not rotating quite as far over that right leg. Let's try it again. Take an inhale, hold the breath, stay calm. And then as you exhale, think opposition. Squeeze that glute as you push the left hip forward. Good, one more, you guys. Take an inhale, hold the breath. All three primal movements here, you're pushing, you're pulling and you're rotating, beautiful. And then coming out, so slowly engage your core, step back through neutral. In between, just cleanse the breath, you guys. Take an inhale, let it go. <laughs> I'm gonna let it go. <laughs> All right, and let's do the other side. Stepping the right foot back, setting up for this lunge with upper body push on the second side. Starting here, take an inhale breath, breathe in. Hold the breath, five counts. Count it to yourself in your own head. And then as you exhale, you're gonna to rotate towards that front leg. You're squeezing the glute as you're pushing the hip bone forward. Huge stretch, again, for that parking break, right? We're stretching through the quad, we're stretching through the psoas. All those squats that you've been doing, all those lunges you've been doing, we need to stretch it out. So this is Courtney, this is your mod one. There's a little bit less flexibility in the hips here, so we have a closer distance between the feet and a little bit less rotation of the spine. And that left arm is gonna stay on the hip, just supporting the body here. Let me hear you breathe, girl. Take an inhale. Breathe in, hold your breath. Stay calm while you hold here. And then here's the movement. Exhale, squeeze that butt cheek, push your hip forward, reach that right hand forward. Beautiful. Coming out with lots of awareness. Pull your core in. Good, step the feet back together. Take that breath in between, let it go. Big inhale, cleanse the breath. Big exhale. Moving into our second contract and relax stretch. So come down onto your hands and your knees into your push-up position. We're gonna stretch the anterior shoulder pecs here, so really getting into the shoulders and into those front body muscles. So let's start, take an inhale, breathe in, hold your breath, and then as you exhale, you're pushing that opposite shoulder down into the floor while you're pushing the opposite hand into the floor. So you're not only stretching into the top of the shoulder, but you're opening through the pec simultaneously. So take an inhale, breathe in, hold your breath, stay nice and calm, hold. You're shocking the muscles here, you're tiring it out. So then when you exhale, you relax and release, you're moving into that next barrier, good. Take an inhale, breathe in. This is your mod three. Lots of range of motion here into the front body. Exhale, find that full range of motion. 
just by opening the front body, the shoulders and the pecs, you're gonna see that your head will sit on the top of your spine even better by opening through those front fascia lines. So by being here and just stretching, you're gonna have better posture, which means better movement efficiency in all of your other Evolve programs. One more breath. All right, and let's change sides. Slowly, slow, 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 come out of these positions. Switching to the other direction. So this is your mod two here. The difference is that hand is back just a little bit and the shoulder, that opposite shoulder may or may not touch the floor. Again, check in with your own body. Good. You can hear the breath, right? Hear your breath. Hold, hold, keep holding. It's hard, good. And then exhale, find your opposition. Great. So the idea here with this contract and relax is as you're inhaling and you're holding the breath, you're just kind of giving the neural system a little shock. So when you release and exhale, it's like the nervous system relaxes and allows you to move into that next barrier of muscle so you get more range of motion. This is your mod one here for you guys with those big tight pecs and those tight shoulders, or girls. <laughs> right, this left arm is gonna be extended outwards, good. That right hand is still gonna be elevated, gonna have the bend in the elbow, but there's a little bit less range of motion here. Do you still get a stretch here, Court? Oh yeah. Awesome. All right, and then slowly coming out of this, lots of awareness, especially when you're working with this front body. Come into your plank position, lift up. You guys take a breath, cleanse it out. Big inhale, and we'll go to a second set of that lunge with the upper body push. So come up to standing. We'll stretch the left side again, so right foot forward, left leg back. Reach those arms up overhead. We're into the second side now. You're gonna feel more range of motion. Let's start together. Take an inhale, breathe in, hold the breath, one, two, three, four, five. Now exhale, as you rotate your torso to the right, you're pushing that left hip bone forward by squeezing that left butt cheek. Think opposition. To stretch a muscle, you have to engage the opposing muscle. So in this case, we want the hip to open. We want the quad to open, which means we need action in the glute. We need action in the hamstring. And then this rotation is one of our most Use primal movements. We rotate our spine all of the time. So you're working not only to find better range of motion in the body for better fitness, but just better day-to-day -day life movement. Having this freedom, it's a beautiful thing. Let's do one more, you guys. Take a big inhale. This is your mod two, a little bit less rotation. Good, and exhale, move into that barrier. Beautiful. And then coming out of these with a lot of awareness, right? Use your core, step the feet back to neutral, reset your body, cleanse the breath in between. Big inhale, you guys. Let it go, exhale. Stepping back with the right foot. Find your alignment, knee over that second toe, arms forward, doors, I flexion of the hands. Take a breath here, big inhale. Find your breath, hold the breath, stay calm, relax the face, and then exhale. Find your rotation, find your stretch. So if you know you have flexibility and you have a little bit more movement in your hips and into your upper back, you're gonna be looking at Candace here. She's got this range of motion. But you worked for this range of motion, right? Oh, definitely. You stretch, right? Yes. Yeah. And stretching is one of these things, it's like a subtle change in our body and we seldom think that taking the time for it is necessary. But by being here today and committing to doing this, you are going to see so much improvement. Like all of your other Evolve programming, your agility, your strength, you're gonna probably go back next time you do your strength and your agility and you're gonna mod up. You're definitely gonna evolve up by being here. Good, take one more breath. And now draw your core in, you guys. Come back through center, safely step the feet together. Let's cleanse the breath. Take a big inhale. Let that go. <sighs> and we'll do the second stretch for the anterior shoulder pec. So coming down onto your hands and knees again. Getting into those tight shoulders and those tight pecs. So looking towards the shoulder that you're going to stretch. So take an inhale here. Breathe in, hold the breath. Keep holding the breath. This is where you're gonna get the result. And now exhale, move into that barrier. Do you feel a better stretch on the second side? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, it's hard to talk while you're doing this, but I'm gonna talk to you. <laughs> so where do you feel the stretch here, DK? Definitely in my shoulder, mm -hmm. my pec minor. Mm -hmm. It's a very amazing stretch, especially when you do a lot of uh, bench presses. Uh -huh. This is a 
Very exactly. Good exercise. So for you guys out there, I know you're all doing it. You're doing bench presses, you're doing tons of push-ups. This is the reverse position of this. So you're gonna get even more results by being here and stretching those muscles. Think theory of opposition. When you strengthen one muscle, to get the best result, you need to stretch it, yeah? Plus you're just gonna look better. Those shoulders are gonna roll back and all those exercises you've been doing to get those big juicy pecs, they're gonna shine, baby. <laughs> Good, one more breath. All right, and then just slowly coming out of this. Lots of awareness and switching sides. Take a breath, let's set it up. Opposite hand is reaching, we're stretching. So in mod one here, the difference is you're looking away from the stretch. So we're stretching here into the right shoulder, into the right pec, good. Opening through the left pec by spreading those fingers, actually push your fingertips into the floor here. And this is when it gets interesting. While you're here, just actually find your hand mechanics. All the muscles that come to your fingertip eventually connect right into your pec wall. So by pushing your fingertips together, you can see in my body, that engages all of this stimulation, this myofascia in the front body. So notice right now what your hands are doing. Create action in the hands, action in the front body. Take one more breath here. Good. All right, one more. She's got lots of range of motion. You feel a lot more open on the second side, right? Definitely. And that's only by doing this two times. Imagine if you did this every week, twice a week, how much more range of motion you would get into your body. You're gonna be flying through those push-ups, yeah? You already are flying through those push-ups. Good, and then coming back to neutral, you guys take a breath. Good, just chill out for a second. Make sure you don't feel dizzy. Inhale. And let it go, exhale. So the second technique that we're gonna do is myofascia stimulation. We're gonna open up all of those global muscles. So instead of thinking of targeting a specific muscle group and stretching a specific muscle group, we're gonna open the entire chain of the body. This is a beautiful thing. We're gonna come into advanced scorpion. So come to lie on your belly, prone position. Reach those arms out like a T. You're gonna lift your right leg up towards the ceiling and you're gonna reach with the opposite hand, trying to touch those toes with the opposite hand as you reach that right leg up and over. So you're opening through the anterior chain and the posterior chain here, working through the whole front of the body, good. So you're bending one knee, yeah, and you're reaching over, there you go. And then coming back through to neutral. So again, switching sides every time. Pick up the left leg, good, find that little reach. So this is mod one. Here's Courtney, she's got a little bit tighter hips, a little bit tighter shoulders. So the range of motion is gonna be less, but we're still trying to get that knee, we're still trying to touch that opposite hand to that opposite finger. Good, and the breath count here is inhale, one, two. Exhale, one, two, pause, and then come back. So go into your breath for a second and hear what's happening with your breath. Your breath tells you a lot about what your body is doing. If you're holding your breath, more than likely you need to mod down. You need to be able to hear your breath, ensuring that you're in the proper range of motion for your body. This is our mod two. We're bringing elbow towards the toe, keeping all of the knees and the elbows bent. Good. All right, you guys, one more, finish it off and then just slowly release. Take a breath, big inhale, let all of that go, big exhale. All right, coming into our second myofascia stretch. So coming to lie on our back, we're gonna go from a plow to a star reach. So now opening through the entire posterior chain, working through the back body. So you're starting in an upright position. Legs are open, reaching those arms out in front of you. So we're gonna work the adductor line as well as the posterior chain. So you're gonna look down at your belly, you're gonna roll back, and you're gonna see if you can bring the legs all the way back behind you, and then roll up into your star position. So let's try that, take a breath, breathe in. Good, and then exhale, roll back. Good, so this is our mod one. You're gonna have a little bit less range of motion and you're just gonna hug the knees as you come. As you do that though, you're still getting the stretch into that back line. Awesome, Courtney. This is fun, right? It is fun. Right? <laughs> Get this girl some popcorn. <laughs> Give me some popcorn. I'm just gonna watch you stretch. <laughs> just kidding. <Feels> good. <laughs> all right, how you doing, buddy? Doing all right. Good. So this is your mod two, right? The legs are gonna open still, but there's no grab at the knees. Good, big exhale, coming back, keeping the knees bent, make sure you're not overstretching the back. And then we have 
our mod three full range of motion. Legs are open wide. As she comes back, the legs are opening. She's getting into that whole back line. Beautiful. And now let me hear you breathe. Big inhale. The exhale's on the stretch. Now you're having a really good time. It's a lot of fun. We're just gonna let her stay there and do that. <laughs> good. So you guys, let's move back to that first myofascia stretch. Come out of this position, just pause for a second. Take a breath, big inhale. Let that go, big exhale. And we'll come into the advanced scorpion two second side. So come to lie on your belly. This time looking for a little more range of motion. So go ahead, reach that opposite arm to that opposite leg. Lift up, good. Find the exhale. So here's what's happening here. So she's releasing the toe and the hand are touching down simultaneously. As she lifts up, opposite foot, opposite leg, she's touching, there's a little pause there. That's where you get the range of motion. Good. Breathe, you guys, find the breath. Let me hear you breathe. Inhaling, one, two, exhaling. One, two. So as we start to open up through this myofascia, we start to see entire range of motion in the body because we're opening through the entire chain. So as opposed to just stretching the quad or stretching the shoulder isometrically, we're now working with an entire chain of muscle fiber. So if you feel like you're stiff in your hip, by doing this myofascia release, you access all of the muscles that surround that hip muscle. So you get a global stretch more effective, neural stimulation, lots of stuff going on here. Good. This is your mod one. This is Courtney. You've even got a little more range of motion. I see that oh, hip yeah. lifting up here. This is good. Yeah, Again, good. this is only the second time through, right? Yeah. You need to do this like every day, my friend. <laughs> good. <laughs> Not every day, every second day. At least commit to that. Good. All right, you guys, let's set up for that plow to star reach. Finish that last one off. Take a breath in between. Cleanse the breath. Let it go and we'll come to lie on our back for that second myofascia stretch. So starting seated, good. Again, if you're mod three and you have that range of motion in your hips, the legs are gonna be open, doors, I flex the feet, arms forward, and let's start the stretch. Take an inhale, good. As you come back, exhale the stretch and the exhale line up. Inhale to come forward, open the arms. Exhale to come back, good. Reach those legs back, stretching through the whole back. Great, beautiful. And every time you come forward, you're getting a little bit more range of motion. The toes might start to touch the floor. Reach forward, keep the spine nice and long doors, a flexion of the hands. Beautiful, this is your mod three. Check back in with your body in a few weeks. This is where you're going, yeah? Practicing, teaching the bodies to stretch, right? Our bodies evolve every single day. We just have to give them the permission to actually do this stuff and you'll see results quicker than you probably think. Good. How you doing here, mister? Love this one. Yeah. It's like <laughs> why why a do you love this one? It's like rocking a baby. It's rocking a baby, yeah. It's like, whose baby are you rocking? <laughs> All right, you guys, take one more breath. Big inhale, let it go, finish it off. Good, and just pause for a second. Make sure you're not lightheaded after that. There's lots of breath, we're upside down, so just chill out for a second. All right, we're into the third technique. Let's do some mobility stuff. So again, mobilizing all of those joints. We're starting with the hamstrings to so come to lie on the back. We're doing the triple plane hamstring pull. So go ahead, let's start with the right leg. And all you're gonna do is find three planes here for the hamstring. So you're gonna bring that right leg over to the right side of the body and then let it come all the way back down to the floor. Come back up now just through your neutral body. Let the leg come back. And now into your medial body, internal rotation. Good, back to the floor. So this is your mod three. Candace is showing she's got full range of motion. She's letting the foot touch the floor and she's reaching for her ankle every single time. Good, and then we got mod two here. A Little bit less range of motion. You're just reaching for the back of the leg, maybe the fingertips touch. Good, and you're making sure that there's no pressure in around the knee. How do you feel here? Feel great. Good. You could do kickboxing, yeah? Taekwondo. Taekwondo. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's the same thing, isn't it? <laughs> Just Both kidding. Both martial arts. <laughs> right? But how would you say, as a fighter, how does this help your range of motion? Oh, definitely. Taekwondo is primarily kicking techniques. Mm -hmm. So, like, that's a good stretch for 
any kind of martial arts that use a lot of kicking, like mm -hmm. kickboxing, even karate. Absolutely. It's amazing, even soccer players, any kind of yeah. kicking. Yeah, and you're working the three lines of the background, right? Oh, yeah. Even if you play kick the can, that's what I do for kicking. Does anyone know that game? That's yes. the one I go. I'm gonna be kicking that can. All right, take a breath, you guys. Let's change sides. Lifting up that opposite leg, let's lift it up. Moving with the breath here, so the pace is a little bit different here. This is your mod one, so if you know you have those uber duber tight hamstrings, I just named a hamstring uber duber, <laughs> you're gonna keep the knee bent a lot, right? We're practicing safety. So this is like 70% of the population. So you're popular right yeah, now, I Courtney. <laughs> right, we have tight bodies because of what we're doing every single day of our lives, right? That back body is contracting all of the time. And especially with all this evolved stuff that we've been doing, all of those squats, all of those lunges, all that plyo, those long jumps, your hamstrings are tight. We need to stretch them out, right? Oh yeah. Good, how are you feeling here? Good. Good, where do you feel the stretch? In my hips and my hips. Yeah, and that's just it. You will feel some stretch into the hip as well. There's almost like a compression. So if you're feeling something in your hip right now, that's a great thing. Opposition, right? We're contracting the hip, which means we're gonna release the hamstring. All right, you guys, let's come into our second mobility stretch into the Sphinx. So coming onto your hands and your knees. Short distance here between the hands and the knees. So you're kind of making a small quad version of yourself. And all we're doing here is just flexing and extending the spine. Let's extend first, so lift the torso. Good, and then exhale really quickly here. This is your mod three. The movements can be quite quick here. And you're massaging the entire length of the spine here. As you can see, she's getting mobility in her lumbar curve, that's the lower back, and mobility in the thoracic curve, that's the upper part of your spine. Good, and you're hot. This girl is sweating, right? And that's the thing about all this stretching stuff. You might not think like you're burning calories, but you're sweating, you're getting rid of all those toxins that sit in different layers of the muscle group. So by being here and incorporating three different techniques of stretching, you're getting into different layers of the muscle and every layer holds a different level of stress and a different kind of stress. Physical, emotional, all different things are coming out right now. Great, so this is your mod two. The hands and the knees are a little bit wider apart. One more here. Awesome. All right, you guys, let's change. Take an inhale, let that go. And we're into the second set of that nice triple plane hamstring pull. So come to lie on your back. Lift your right leg back up again. We'll start with the right side and let's stretch. So you bring the leg to the lateral side of the body, then right through center and then into your medial line, which means you internally rotate the femur bone to bring it across, great. But she's already got more range of motion. How do you feel on the second yeah, side? I, the pinching in the hip is actually gone. Amazing. That feels good. And that's just again two times. So your body responds to movement. Maybe you've never done this before. This is new to you. The body responds. It loves to find new things, right? It's like the mind. It's like searching for new things all of the time. So by incorporating these unique techniques, you're going to see different results. You're going to find something new in your body, which is pretty exciting. How are you doing here, sir? Excellent. Yeah, I'm not, <laughs> he's not a DJ anymore, he's a sir. <laughs> Good, how do you feel on the second side? Much better. Yeah, amazing. Increased, definitely increased the range of motion. Mm -hmm. Good, and let's switch sides, you guys. So just let that right leg come down. Pick up that left leg. This is your mod two, second time around. So you should be feeling a little bit more range of motion. You wanna make sure there's no pulling in or around the knee. If there is, just bend the knee a little bit. Good, working three lines by finding the rotation of the hip joint here is essentially what you're doing. Great, and nice breathing. Exhale as you stretch, inhale and exhale. Just keep breathing and moving. And this hamstring stuff we're doing, you guys, think about your blowouts. Think about how much more explosiveness you're gonna have. You're gonna get those knees higher. You're gonna be able to kick that bum quicker. You're gonna be doing everything with so much speed. You're gonna see a lot of results here, great. All right, you guys, two more here. How do you feel on the second side? A lot more range of motion, not as tight. And this is great, because Candace has flexibility already, but even with the flexibility, you can find more flexibility, right? Usually the more flexible you are, you need to remind those muscles of how much flexibility there actually is there. Great. All right, you guys, let's come out of this. So just relax for a second, take a breath. How you doing? 
Fantastic. Look at that sweat. I love that we're stretching and you're sweating. <laughs> All three of them are. <laughs> it's not just her. <laughs> All right, so let's start in that sphinx position, coming into a quad position onto the hands and the knees. Good. So as you can see here at the Mod 3, let's move you guys. So let's start breathing, exhaling and inhaling. She has a very close distance between the hands and the knees. So this is your Mod 3, right? This is if you know you have this range of motion in the spine. Right? If you know you have a lack of mobility, you're gonna keep the distance between the hands and the feet farther apart, and there's less range of motion in the spine. It doesn't mean there's better result or worse result. We're just working within our own body limitations. And this is an overall point about fitness. The more you're able to go inside your body, and work within your own limitations, you become intelligent with your movement. It's like your mind, right? We teach our minds to be intelligent. We're taking the time right now to teach our bodies to be intelligent. Imagine if the two are intelligent together and working synergistically together. It's a pretty cool thing. Good. All right, you guys, let me hear you breathe. This is awesome, Court. Exhaling, then inhaling, coming back into that spinal extension, working through the whole range of motion, working within your own limitations of the spine. Still getting the same result. Good, same benefit. Let's come through neutral and take a breath. Good job, you guys. So we're now going to start set B. So we have six new stretches, starting with contract and relax. First stretch we're gonna do is child's pose, lat stretch. Bringing those knees at least three feet apart. Walk your hands forward, bringing your hands towards the left, stretching to the right side of the body. And let's start here. So take a breath in, breathe in, holding the breath for one, two, three, four, five. Now as you exhale, you're thinking opposition. You're pushing the heel of that right hand forward. And it's like I'm pulling your hip back with a rope getting into that right fascia on the entire right side of the body. So this is your Mod 3 Candice. You're gonna have more movement into the spine. The knees are gonna be wider apart and your forehead's probably gonna come to the floor. With our Mod 2, you're gonna have less distance between the knees, probably a little micro bend into the elbows and you're not gonna have as much movement into your spine. So this is your Mod 2 here. Technique is the same. You're inhaling for a count of five, pause. As you exhale, think of opposition, pushing that right hand forward as you bring your right hip back. And the hands are flat, not in doors I flexion here with our mod two. All right, you guys, and now switching sides. So just walk your hands to the opposite side. Starting here, take a breath, inhale, hold the breath. Three, four, five, and then exhale, walking those hands slightly towards the right. This is your mod one. A little bit less distance between the knees. The hips may or may not touch the floor here. Safety in the knees, most important. Hands are flat to the floor. Probably a little micro bend into the elbow here. Are you getting a stretch here, Miss Courtney? I am, yeah. Where do you feel this one? Uh, right up the side of my left, left lat, left right. knee. We're talking lats here, right? From all those mammalian crawls that you've been doing, all those push-ups you guys have been doing, we're now stretching out all of those movements, right? Those primal crawl movements, we're getting into those muscle fibers. Take a breath in, breathe in, hold the breath, keep holding. And then as you exhale, move into that next barrier of stretch. Think about breathing at this point into these intercostals, right? Those are those little muscles that sit between our ribs. As we inhale, we're holding and expanding, contracting, creating space to breathe. So this is not only awesome for the lats, it's awesome for the intercostal. Think breath volume, all right. And then coming back through center, take a breath. And let's transition into a hamstring stretch. So come up to a standing position. Make sure you don't feel lightheaded when you come up. Just chill out for a second, breathe. You guys good? You're seeing stars? Nope. No, sometimes it's fun. <laughs> Just kidding. All right, we'll go and do a hamstring stretch. So step the right foot back. We'll turn to face the sidewall. Toes pointing straight forward. Red flag, red flag. If you know you have tight hamstrings, you're going to take a little bend into the knees. And from here, you're going to reach your arms forward. You're going to hinge from the hips and just get a nice stretch into the back of the legs here. So we're into the hamstring splits here. Same technique, contract and relax. So take an inhale, hold your breath for a count of five, three, four, five. And now exhale, you're pushing the hands forward, bring your weight back, good. So this is your mod three, inhale, breathe in. Exhale, 
to come a little bit deeper. So with mod three, the legs are gonna be completely extended. The shoulders are more than likely gonna come below the hips. If you have a little bit less flexibility into the backs of the legs, you're gonna have a shorter distance between your feet. The shoulders are gonna be above the hips. Your hands probably won't have as much dorsiflexion, flexion, but you're still working to get that dorsiflexion flexion in the hands. This is your mod two. And for those of you who have those super awesome tight hamstrings, this is where you are and you're being humble and you're just stretching with awareness. There's a little bend into the knees, the hands are on the hips. The most important part here is the integrity of the spine. If we keep the spine long, we're gonna practice stretching the hamstrings properly. All right, you guys come out of this with a lot of control. Push into your feet, use your breath to come out. Good, and then just step to the top of your space and just cleanse the breath. Take an inhale, let that go, big exhale. And we'll move into the second set for that child's pose lat stretch. So coming down onto your knees again, bring those knees three feet apart, walk your hands forward. And then if the range of motion is there, walk your hands to the left. Maybe the second time around you feel like you have more space. Let's start the stretch. Take an inhale, breathe in, hold the breath. Keep holding the breath, stay calm as you hold the breath. And then as you exhale, Feel your body move into that next barrier of stretch. Good. Again, take a second, just quiet the mind, quiet the body, breathe in, inhale. Keep holding the breath, two more seconds. And then as you exhale, think of your right hip coming back and that right hand coming forward. How do you feel on the second side here, Courtney? It's a lot easier. Well, and if you look, she's almost able to touch her head to the floor on the second side, oh, right? Awesome. Which is pretty awesome. So again, by opening the top part of the body, the lats, the shoulders, we start to get this natural range of motion in the neck, which is gonna position our head differently. So as you move through your stretch program, just start to notice how your body starts to evolve and change. Start to notice your posture change. All right, let's come to the other side. You guys walk your hands back through center and then we'll go to the other side and we'll start the breathing. So take an inhale. This is your mod two. And then exhale, think opposition. That left hip's coming back. That left hand is reaching forward. How you doing here, buddy? Doing amazing. Why do you love this stretch? I love to go like for a swim over uh. the weekend it's, and uh, this is a good stretch for your lats. It's an amazing stretch. Awesome. Swimmers out there, this is fantastic. Think of all of those motions that you do with swimming, all that surfing that you're doing, right? <laughs> you're gonna get those lats stretched out, have more range of motion than those shoulders, great. Even just think about day-to-day -day activities, right? Getting groceries out of the trunk of your car, picking up your kids. Anything where you're reaching and lifting is using your lap muscles. So we use them all of the time, just day-to-day. -day. So give yourself this break right now. Stretch those muscles that are working all of the time. Good, take one more breath. Let's finish it off. Look at this range of motion. This is your mod three. And then coming out of this with awareness, so walk your hands back to center. Be aware as you come out of these positions, your body's taking a huge change right now, a shift, so just be careful as you come out. All right, you guys feel good? Fantastic. All right, so we're gonna do that hamstring stretch. So coming into the hamstring splits, reaching that right leg back, wide distance between the toes, alignment in the body, reach those arms forward, hinge at the hips. Maybe you're a little bit lower this time in your starting position. So start in your starting position, take an inhale, breathe in, hold the breath. And then as you exhale, think of pushing your hips back as you push the hands forward and continue doing that. Take an inhale, breathe in, hold your breath. And then as you exhale, think of moving into that next barrier. So this is your mod three. There's gonna be more range of motion the second time around. Take an inhale. It's hard to hold the breath here because gravity wants to pull your body down to the floor. So this requires core strength even here to stabilize, beautiful. Inhale, holding the breath. And this is fantastic for lower back tension, right? Think of decompressing the spine, which is gonna give opportunity for that lower back to stretch and release. So if you feel tightness in your lower back right now, get up and do this stretch wherever you are, good. Take two more breaths. Great. Slowly coming up, use your core, come out with awareness. Take a pause at the top, right? We've been down for a while. Blood is going everywhere. Breathe and let go. 
You look really happy there. <laughs> Stretching makes you happy. All right, second technique is that myofascia stretch. So we're gonna get into that global chain of muscle group opening through the whole body. So let's start with that posterior oblique fascia line. So coming to lie on your back, reaching those arms out like a T position. Great. We're gonna start by lifting the right leg up, inhale. As you exhale, you're shooting that leg across your body and opening through the whole right side of the body. Inhaling, tapping the knee and the hand, and then as you exhale, looking for full range of motion. Find the breath, inhale, one, two, big exhale. And let's just breathe for a bit, inhale. Let me hear you breathe, you guys. Enjoy your breath, exhale. Little pause at the bottom. Inhale, little knee to hand tap, and exhale. Full range of motion here, good. So as we start to open through the myofascia, we start to talk about neuromuscular stimulation. So we're opening all of the neurofibers of our body. So what starts to happen is we start to find more connection with neuromuscular response. So in terms of the rest of your programming, by doing myofascia stretch, you're giving your body the best opportunity for muscle memory. So you're gonna get better results in your strength program, your agility program, and your core balance programs. So let's um, switch sides. You guys come back to center. Take a breath in the middle, and then we'll do the other side. So lift that left leg up, a little knee hand tap, inhale, and then exhale, opening. So this is your mod one. If you know you have a tight lower back or a tight shoulder, you're gonna make sure that this knee is bent. So this is the difference here with mod one. The knee is bent, but the action is the same. We're inhale, there's a little tap, and we're exhale, and we're opening that back line, opening the lateral line. Great. How do you feel here? Good. Good. It feels tight, but it feels, feels good. Yeah. And that's just it, right? Check in with your body, right? Maybe at this point, you're exactly where you want to be. Maybe you feel like, ah, I could stretch a little bit more. And you'll evolve up. You'll come to your mod two. The only difference here is this leg is a little bit more extended. So we start to now straighten the leg. But instead of bringing that foot in front of the hip, you're just darting that foot over and across. One more, you guys. Big inhale. Finish it off. Remember the exhales, finish off the stretch. Finish the breath, finish the movement. Great, and then just come back to neutral and take a breath. This is good, stretching makes you smile. <laughs> All right, so let's come into the second myofascia stretch, coming into the pigeon with the hand reach. So let's come onto that right hip, bring that right leg forward, 90 degrees maybe if you're in mod three, otherwise the heel's gonna tuck in towards that left inner thigh. Reaching that right hand down for stabilization, you're here, here, let's move the left hand. Let's take an inhale, you're reaching forward, exhale, inhale, and exhale. We're just actually gonna clean the floor. <laughs> this is great technique for learning how to wash those floors. <laughs> All right, so this is your mod three, more range of motion here. That shin is gonna be parallel, the heel is gonna be away from that left inner thigh. If you're mod two, there's gonna be a little bit less flexion in that front knee, so the heel's gonna be closer. You're gonna be up on the hand as opposed to the forearm, and you're sliding that hand forward, but it might not go as far. So this is your mod two. Your mod one, for those of you, I know you have tight hips, this is where you're at, right? The heel is on the inside of the thigh. That right hand is just guiding the movement. The left hand is supporting that left foot down. So you're anchoring, you're stabilizing the lower body while you're stretching the right hip. Do you feel a stretch here, girl? Yeah, I do. Yeah, you do. Uh, just the outside here and a little bit of like it. Okay, so a little bit of the hips, right? Right hip and left hip. Let's go to the other side. We'll see what's happening there. So lift all the way up and switch sides, coming on to the left hip. And we'll start with the same movement. So you're inhaling and exhaling. Let's go. And just kind of check in with your own bodies right now. And notice if you're feeling a different stretch from one side of the body to the other. This is usually quite common because we're dominant on one side of the body. So it's fine. Don't be shocked if you feel a little bit stiffer on one side of the body. Maybe you do everything with your left leg forward or your right leg back. If you play soccer or you do taekwondo, you probably kick with one leg more than the other, right? Oh, yeah. Actually, which is your favorite leg to kick with? My right leg. Do you play soccer too? Well, I'm Brazilian, so we have to. <laughs> oh, you have to. You like every time like a kid's born, like they're kicking the ball, so there's no other way. 
either a soccer player or you're a soccer player. You kick the ball before you learn how to walk. That's fantastic exactly. development. Good, <laughs> good. Let's lean forward, exhale. All right. And then just coming out of this, take an inhale, you guys. Relax, exhale. And we'll move into that second set of that posterior oblique fascia stretch. So coming on to our back, let's see how this feels the second time around. Reach those arms up, and let's just start breathing and moving. Inhale, you're tapping the hand and the knee, and then as you exhale, you're opening the entire body. Inhale. One, two, big exhale, full range of motion. You're pushing that opposite finger and that toe into the floor. Inhale, this is your mod three. The arm's coming behind the shoulder and the toe is almost touching that hand. The mod two looks a little bit different. The knee is straight, but you're not getting as much range of motion into the leg here. Good. Just keep moving with your breath here. So when we start to open through this posterior chain, Think about all of those movements that you're doing in your Evolve program. All your reverse bridges, right? All those bare postures that you're doing. You're gonna to start to find a little bit more balance in the body in terms of not only strength, but flexibility. So when you go back to your Evolve program after practicing and committing to your stretch program, you're just gonna see yourself get better results. You're probably gonna see yourself evolve up after staying here and committing to being here. Let's take one more, you guys. Big inhale. Finish it off, finish the breath. Great. All right, and let's do that second side. So lifting the left knee up, tapping the left knee and the left hand. Here's our inhale, and then big exhale. Reaching that leg as far over as you can. Inhaling for one, two, and big exhale. Find the bottom of the breath and the movement. Inhaling, exhaling. Inhale, let me hear you breathe, sniffing through the nose. Exhale, blow it through the mouth. If you need more information on any of the stretches, just make sure that you come see me on the tutorials. We'll give you the step-by-step -step on how to get your body into these positions. And make sure that you're moving through it properly, right? If we practice with technique and form, you're gonna see better results. It'll take two more breaths, you guys. Big inhale, let it go, exhale. One more, big inhale, breathe in. Finish it off, exhale. And then just coming back into a seated position, we'll go into that second set of that pigeon with the hand reach. So we'll start on the right hip, right hand or form is down for support, work within your mod. Inhaling, exhale, slide that hand forward. Move with your breath, inhale and exhale. So from all the work that we do, not only with physical fitness, but just in day-to-day -day life, just from standing all day long, our hips are the middle of our body. It's kind of like the epicenter of our body. So we start to hold a lot of physical tension in our body. It's in our hips and our glutes. And we also hold emotional tension in our bodies. So think of this stretch as not only releasing physical tension, but just any kind of other stressful moments that you're dealing with in your life right now. It's like you're breathing it out on every exhale. Good, think of the circulation. You're breathing right now. So the blood is flowing through the body at a fast pace. As soon as we bring circulation into the body, we have more energy, we feel more alive. You're gonna feel so energized by incorporating your stretch program into your activities. Good, take two more breaths, you guys. All right, and then let's switch sides. So coming again with awareness onto that left hip. Bring that left leg out in front. Again, this is our mod one, a little bit less flexible. The heel's on the inner thigh. Your left hand is just behind the left knee. You're pushing your right hand into your left heel. And then you're just folding forward. See, as you exhale, you're folding. You're getting that stretch. Inhale, you're lifting up. Again, working with controlled movements, lots of awareness. Exhale. Good, how you doing here? Good, easier this time. It's easier, right? You're stretching this guy here. We're back to calling muscles guys <laughs> or girls. We're stretching these girls. You're stretching that glute, that piriformis. So this is gonna help you with all those plyo motions that you've been doing, right? All those squat jumps you've been doing. This is gonna give you that freedom in the hips to find more depth, which means more power, more strength, more performance. Good. One more breath, you guys, great. 
and we'll move into our third technique for stretching, which is mobility. So let's work those extensors and flexors, coming into a quad position onto the hands and the knees. We're gonna start with the fingertips pointing inwards, and all you're gonna do is retract the shoulder blades and then protract. All that means is dropping the shoulder blades into the spine and then lifting them up. And then you're gonna work the flexion and the extensions of the wrist at the same time. So let's do this together, let's move. Exhale, inhale up and then switch your hand positioning. So the fingertips point inwards, good. Exhale, the shoulders are dropping down and back. Push your shoulder blades into my fingers. So the movement here is actually starting from the shoulder blades, not from the flexion of the wrist. So this is important information. If you need a step-by-step -step on this, come see me in the tutorials. It's important to get the right technique on this one. Good. How you doing here, buddy? Excellent. Where do you feel this stretch? Oh, it's a great stretch for wrist. Like I do a little bit of handstand mm -hmm. or try to balance. This is a great stretch. Yeah, for handstands, push-ups, you're gonna actually build the strength around your wrist itself. And this is great for carpal tunnel if you have any kind of tennis elbow. Anything that's going on in your wrist, your hands, or your elbows, this is a fantastic movement to really strengthen those extensors and those flexors in the wrist joints themselves. Let's do one more. This is your mod one. A little bit less range of motion, even just by moving the hand position, you're gonna get a great stretch here. Good. All right, you guys, let's take a breath. Come out of that. We'll move into our second stretch for mobility. Into those lovely hamstrings again. So coming up to standing. Because why? We love our hamstrings. Let me hear you say it. We love our hamstrings. <laughs> Sorry, what? We love our hamstrings. We love our hamstrings. All right. So coming with the feet together, hands onto the knees, shins, or thighs. All you're doing here is just flexing and extending the legs. So you're just bending the knees. Good, maybe getting a little bit more range of motion each time. So we call this dynamic stretching, so it's active. So what happens when we dynamic stretch? You keep the pace of the muscle twitch intact with the movement of the body. So this is a really effective stretch for anything that you're doing in terms of a warm up. If you're about to play tennis, or if you're about to skate, or you're about to play football, or do anything that's active in the body, this is the kind of stretching we wanna do. It's not lazy stretching, it's active, it's dynamic, it's functional. Good, so this is your mod two here. A little bit less bend into the knees, hands are onto the quads. Good, how are those hamstrings feeling? <laughs> we love your hamstrings today. <laughs> we love our hamstrings every day. And this is rod one, right? The hands are just below the hips. Good. So just by stretching the hamstrings themselves, we can reduce things like nerve impingement into our lower backs. Move with awareness. All right, you guys, take one more. Great. And then we'll move into a second set of those mobility stretches. So coming back down onto the hands and the knees, working the mobility around the wrists themselves. Quad position, shoulders in internal rotation. Let's go, just moving with the breath, retracting the shoulder blades and pushing them up. So this is mod three. This is if you have a lot of range of motion in your wrist, your elbow, and your shoulder. Good. So doing these kinds of things, they seem like they're not gonna be very effective in your body when you just look at them, but when you actually get down onto your hands and knees and you practice this stuff, we start to learn about where we hold tension and maybe if you have something going on in your elbow or your shoulder, it probably has something to do with the wrist. So if you have anything going on in your arms right now, this is probably an awesome stretch for you to do. We're thinking of mobilization through the entire chain here, which is the wrist, the elbow, and the shoulder joint working together. Good. It's like joint accountability. Our joints are responsible for different movements. Good, take two more breaths. This is your mod two, a little bit less flexion in the elbows. Good, but still working the internal and external rotation of the shoulder joint. Beautiful, you guys. Let's come out of that, take a breath, and we'll go into that second mobility stretch for the hamstrings. So come to stand on your feet, feet hip distance apart. Your hand positioning might start lower the second time around, right? Maybe your hands start below your knees, just above or on the quads. Let's move those legs. So just bending the knees and straightening them. You're just leaving your hands. Your arms aren't really moving. It's just your legs that are moving here. Good, moving with your breath here. Big inhales, big exhales. So this is your mod one. Again, a little bit less flexibility. Let's see if you could slide those hands down a little bit more this time. That's it, how does that feel? Good. Good, so this is second time around, right? So we wanna find a little bit more range of motion. Now when you said good, was there a question mark on that good or uh, an exclamation mark? I feel when I go down, I can definitely feel. You could go more? Yeah. yeah. 
It's still tight, but yeah. it definitely will be better. So breathe here, let the breath move you. Big inhales, the exhales on the stretch, right? Good. And again, by stretching these hamstrings, think about those movements, right? Your skater lunge, all your tennis movements, all your forward movements. Your hamstrings are responsible for power movements forward. So anything when you're in an athletic position and you need to move forward, this is what your hamstrings are responsible for. So we're balancing that strength with the flexibility here, keeping them really healthy, muscle twitches active. Great. One more. And full flexion here into the knees and the hips, moving with your breath, finding more movement on every exhale. This is great. Just finish one more off here. Big inhale. Let it go. All right, we're now gonna head into our final set, set C of stretching, starting with the contract and relax technique. All right, you guys ready? So let's move into those juicy, juicy, fantastic quads. Coming into a lunge position, we'll stretch the right side first. So making sure that left knee is tracking over the second and third toe. The right knee is gonna be behind the hip for your mod three, maybe a little bit more forward for your mod one. Let's go, let's reach for that opposite leg, find your balance first, opposite arm. So just stabilize in the body first. Make sure your belly button's pulled in. Go to the tutorials here to make sure you're setting this up properly. And then let's find the technique. Take an inhale, breathe in. That's it. And then exhale. You're stretching through the right side of the body as you move towards the left. Good. Inhale. Try to hold the breath for one, two, three, four, five. And then as you exhale, this is your mod two. You're not leaning. There's not as much lateral flexion of the spine. Your opposition here is your knee all the way through to that right middle finger. So you're stretching through the hip flexor, the psoas, the quad, everything in that front body. Right? I'm speaking for you, but I'm assuming that you're getting a stretch there, yeah? Just holding my breath. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's right. <laughs> Don't talk. Just hold your breath. Good. Exhale one more. Great. And make sure you come out of this one with awareness. Red flag, red flag. Engage the hamstring. Don't let the foot spring away. Good. And then switch sides. So stepping forward with the opposite foot, getting into your position with safety. Come into these as slowly as you need to. Don't rush the body. You want to make sure that you're practicing safely. You have your balance first. And then let's move into the stretch. Take an inhale. Breathe in. And exhale. Good. In the stretch program, we get to take the time to go into our bodies, and we actually get the time to stay here and observe these subtle little changes that are happening in our body. So wherever you are right now, it's perfect. If you're mod one and you're getting a great stretch and you're here, this is perfect, right? It's just a number, mod one, two, three, four, it doesn't matter. It's just about making sure you're practicing safely and that you're getting the result, which in this case, we just want to stretch. That's all we're doing. Do you get a stretch here, my friend? Oh, yes. Feels great. So here's our opposition here. So as you exhale, you're thinking of squeezing the glute. You're pushing the heel into the hand as you push the left hip. So you're getting that push-pull everywhere into the body. And then coming out of this with a lot of awareness, engage your core. Try not to let the foot spring away. Just step out of it safely. Take a breath, you guys. Big inhale. Let all of that go. Big exhale. Coming into the Mackenzie Cobra stretch. So coming into a prone position, coming onto your hands, making sure the back of your neck stays long here. You're going to push into your hands and you're going to lift the torso up off the floor. So starting in your starting position, take a breath, breathe in. And then as you exhale, you're going to lift a little bit higher. If you're down here, this is perfect. You just want to make sure, especially with this position, that there's no pinching or compression in your lower back. So take a second and check in with your lower back. If you feel any kind of compression or something that does not feel right, you need to mod down. So just start with your mod one. If everything feels healthy in your lower back here, then maybe you evolve up and you go to mod two with the hands beside the shoulders. Good, and all we're doing here, this is the contract and relax. You're inhaling, you're holding the breath, and then as you exhale, you're pushing up maybe like half an inch higher. Right? Tuck the chin. The back of the neck stays long. Don't crank that chin up. Good. Holding here. So again, thinking of opening through the abdominal wall from all that core you've been doing, working the front abdominal wall. We're stretching through all those muscles. Back of the neck long. Good. And then slowly coming out of this. Bend the elbows. Start to bring the forehead towards the floor. And release. Take a breath. Take an inhale. Let that go, guys. Exhale. 
second set of the quad stretch. So coming back into your lunge position. Good. So this is mod three. Right leg forward, left leg back. Good. And we'll reach for that left leg this time. Good. Opposite hand comes to the opposite foot. Good. Holding here. Find the position first. All right. Holding here. Good. So again, as you exhale, you're finding a little bit of lateral flexion. So your spine is moving to the right. You're pushing the left hip forward. You're keeping the belly button pulled in to protect the lower back. Good. And again, we're just opening through that entire front body. And this not only is going to help your range of motion in your squats and your lunges and all that activity you're doing in terms of flexion, this is flexion of the knee and the hip, but just practical things like being able to get down onto your knees and just play with your kids on the floor. Just being able to do day-to-day -day activities which requires flexion in the knee, feeling safe around your knees. We need our knees for our entire lives, right? So take care of your quads, take care of your hips. That more than likely is going to help with any Anything that's going on in your knees. Take two more breaths. Good. All right, you guys, let's come out of this slow transition, switching sides, the opposite leg forward. Good. And we'll start. So take an inhale, reach for that opposite leg, find the position first. Again, make sure you check out the tutorials if you need a little bit more step-by-step -step guidance here. And let's start the technique. So take an inhale, Breathe in. Remember, we're holding the breath. We're trying to shock the muscles here. We're trying to tire them out, fatigue them. And then as you exhale, moving into that stretch. Great. So think of every exhale that you're taking in this program as an opportunity for more range of motion. And then think of every inhale as an opportunity to infuse your body, your neuro system, your muscular system, all your systems of the body with life force. Breathing is life, right? So. While you're here, you're stretching, you're taking the time and the commitment to be here. Be grateful for your breath. You're able to breathe at free will and you're able to let the breath move and change and evolve your body. Beautiful. How are you feeling here, buddy? Awesome. Are you grateful for your breath? <laughs> it's hard to talk, I know. Just smile and nod, good. All right, and then coming out of this, a lot of awareness, use your core. Good, place the hands down onto the floor. And we'll move into that second Mackenzie Cobra press stretch. So coming down onto the hands and the knees, come to lie on your belly. And maybe this time you have a little bit more range of motion. Hands beside the chest, take an inhale, lift up, not to your full barrier, just go to a place where you know you could find a bit more of a stretch. Hold the breath, and then as you exhale, actively push into your hands and lift the upper back. Try not to lift your chin up. You're gonna crank through the cervical spine. We wanna keep the back of the neck nice and long. Breathe in here, big inhale, breathe in. Hold the breath, try to stay relaxed. And then exhale, push into your hands. Feel the spine lift a little bit higher. Try and at this point to keep the hip bones onto the floor. Good, breathe, big inhale and exhale. So thinking of that neck position, again, we don't want to crank our neck back. We want all of the movements of the spine to formulate properly. So we just want the head sitting on top of the spine as opposed to here, as opposed to back here, right? This is going to help with just overall postural changes in the body. Good. All right, so we're going to move into our second technique, the myofascia stretching. So let's move into all those muscles around the neck. Come to a standing position. Come up slowly with awareness. Good. We'll start this really slow so we get the technique, and then we'll start to add the breath. So here's the physical movements. Let's do this one together. So look over your left shoulder and then look down, and then you're just gonna tilt your chin up and to the right. And you're gonna get a stretch to the whole right side of the neck. And then just tilt your head back to center, and then go to the other side. Look over to your right shoulder, look down, and then tilt the chin up, stretching to the opposite side of the neck. And now let's add the breath. Bring the head back to center. Look towards your left shoulder. This is the inhale. Look down. As you tilt the chin up, there's your exhale. That opposite hand is reaching down. Good. Head back to center. Look over the right shoulder. Inhale. Tilt down. Tilt up. Exhale. So again, if you know you hold tension at this point in your life, you probably know where you hold tension in your body. For most of the population, it's in our neck and our shoulders. So 
You can do this anywhere. You can do this while you're driving in your car. You can do this at the office. You can do it on an airplane. You can do it when you're cooking. So you have no excuse, right? It's an opportunity to release global tension in the body. So take the time, stretch the neck. It's great for headaches, all sorts of benefits here. Good. And this is your mod one, so it looks a little bit different, but the movements are the same. Just the hands are pointing straight down to the floor. There might be a little bit less range of motion in the neck itself. Good, make sure it feels good. Great, and then just come back to neutral, you guys. Just take a breath in between, woo! <laughs> Whoever thought stretching your neck could be so exciting? <laughs> All right, coming into that butterfly sit. So coming down onto the floor, and starting with the legs up, and the arms up overhead. We're gonna exhale, you're gonna open the soles of the feet together and reach the arms forward. There's your exhale, and then inhale, lift up, bring the knees together. Let's go. Big exhale, breathe and stretch. Big inhale, lifting back up, good. Exhale, so this is your mod three. The arms are gonna be extended forward, the hands are indoors, I flexion, high five. <laughs> knees together, exhale, fold. Where do you feel stretch here, Miss Candice? I feel it in my hips and my lower back. Okay, so we're talking about the hips. There's lots of different parts of the hips. Right now we're into the adductor line, which are the inner thighs. So as you press forward, you're gonna feel a nice stretch and opening through those inner thighs. So think of all your lateral movements in your Evolve program, right? Those lateral lunges, any of that lateral movement with tennis, football, any kind of sport that you play, this is a great stretch. This is your mod one, so the hands are just gonna stay on the ankles as you come forward and they're gonna lift up onto the knees when you lift up. So you're gonna slide forward, keeping the spine nice and long. Use the breath, inhale, come up, knees together, and exhale. How you doing here? Good. Good. Good, and then come back to neutral. All right, you guys, second stretch for that SCM stretch, those neck muscles, so come up to your standing position. Make sure you're not dizzy when you get there. Feet, hip distance apart, hands by the side, doors, I flexion of the hands. Take a breath here, and let's start. Let's peek over that left shoulder, chin down, chin up. You're stretching all of the muscles in the side of the neck. They're called scalenes. <laughs> not a nice word. <laughs> Just go ahead and ask anybody you know how their scalenes are. Hey, how are your scalenes? <laughs> See what kind of reaction you get. Just kidding. All right, how you doing here, buddy? Excellent. Okay. So again, thinking of this stretch is something that you can do anytime. Good. Just gotta feel good. Make sure that you're not overstretching. This is one of these postures. Red flag, red flag. Go see the tutorials. Make sure that you're doing it properly. Think safety in the body. All right, you guys, let's just do one more. Inhale. Come through center and change. We'll move into that second stretch for the groin, the adductors, that butterfly sit. So the soles of the feet will come together, mod three. Lift those arms up overhead. And then as you exhale, open the knees, fold forward. Good, so the mod two, the only difference here, the torso is just not coming forward as far. So we're still lifting the arms up. You're opening the knees just as wide as you can. Make sure there's no pulling on the knees as you do this. Good, trying to keep the spine as long as you can. Good, think of when you come up like you're pushing your spine into a wall behind you. Good, big exhale. Great, keep breathing and moving. Big inhale, lift up, and big exhale. Good, this is gonna help you with all of those downtown crunches, right? <laughs> Do you guys remember the downtown crunch? I love it. I you need those adductors to be strong, right? But in order for the adductor, the groin muscle to be strong, it needs to be flexible as well. Think of every muscle as gaining strength with the flexibility. That's why you're here. That's why you're committed to being here because we wanna get stronger. We wanna balance out the body. You're gonna feel better, not just with your Evolve programming, but just day-to-day -day life. Running to catch the bus. <laughs> All right. And then just coming back up to neutral. Take a breath, big inhale, and let it go. Exhale. All right, we're into mobility stretching. So coming into that three-plane ankle mobility stretch. So starting in a lunge position, right toes forward, right knee forward. Just bracing the knee first, so stabilizing the knee first. And you're gonna work through all movements of the hip again. Think external linear and rotation of the spine. So starting in neutral, let's go. We're gonna bring the knee to the right and then back to center, straight over that middle toe, back to center, and then all the way over to the left. Good, back to center, straight forward. 
External, move to your lateral line, back to center, straight through, and then into your medial line. So as you start to move here, again, this is one of these stretches that is working not just the ankle or the knee itself, it's working with joint accountability is what I like to call it. So your feet are stabilizers. So as you're here, actually stabilize through your foot and your knee is a stabilizer, but your ankle is a mobilizer. So if we can practice keeping the knee and the foot stable, we work the ankle's natural range of motion here. So this is a really safe stretch to provide that ankle with natural range of movement creating muscle memories here for all your sports, all your movements, keeping those ankles really healthy. Good, and let's switch sides. Coming over to the other side, safety first. Step that opposite foot forward, brace the knee. It's like you're stabilizing your knee with your hand here. And then let's move that knee. We'll go to the lateral line first, so come outwards. This is your mod three. So Candace has a lot of range of motion here in her ankles. You're a dancer, yeah? She's been training those bad boys her entire life, I bet, right? All my life. That's right. So if you have lots of range of motion in your ankles, this is where you're going, right? If you know you have a little bit less, just mod down. It's got to feel safe. How are you doing here? Do you feel Great. stretch here? Oh, yeah. Yeah, where do you feel stretch? Oh, yeah. My, my ankle like that, especially the internal rotation mm -hmm. here. Like, it's a, a position that we're not used to, to be in that position, it's really tight. What we're talking about here is just how we're born, right? Our structure is gonna determine how we feel in every single stretch. So what I feel in one stretch, you're gonna feel something completely different. Our hips were born with external, internal rotation. Our structure is never going to really change. So we're just working within those limitations. You're gonna feel different in every single posture. All right, you guys, let's take one more stretch here. Big inhale. Let that go, exhale, and we'll move into a second mobility stretch here for the shoulders. Behind the back scratch. I'll scratch your back. You, you scratch mine. mine. <laughs> All right. So it's this thinking of those monkey arms. You're just bringing one arm back at a time. You guys can start with me. Just opening through the shoulders, thinking external and internal rotations. So you're just trying to tickle your back with your fingertips. Your mod one, you're more than likely just going to get your hands to the back of your head and your lower back but we're still working the mobility of the shoulder joint here. Your mod two, you're gonna have your fingertips just reaching towards your mid back. Good, so kind of where your upper and your lower spine meet, that's where you're placing your hands one at a time. And then if you're mod three and you have really open shoulders, you're almost gonna be able to touch your fingertips one day. Good. And this is an awesome movement to check for asymmetries in the body, right? If you do everything with your right hand, you're gonna feel like you have less range of motion on that right side. Take one more stretch, you guys, big breath. Great, and let's just come back to neutral. Take a breath, big inhale. Let all of that go. <laughs> big exhale. And let's move into the second set of that stretch for that knee and ankle mobility. So coming into your lunge position, and let's warm it up. Bring the hands onto the knees and let's work the rotation of the hip here. So bringing the knee over to the right, back to center, now in through to the left. Good. Back to center. Good. So this is mod one. She's really stabilizing the knee here with her hands and just moving the knee slightly forward and back, maybe a little bit of movement here in the hip joint. Second time around, finding just a little mobility there. How do you feel here? Good. Yeah? That's easier this time. Good. So look up. Action is always forward, good. So when you're stretching, it's important where your eyes are, right? Your eyes align your spine. If we look down, your head's just gonna hang off your cervical spine. So notice right now where your eyes are up, right? When you're playing or moving in life, your eyes are always up, you're forward. So think of functional movement, right? Eyes forward, action forward. Stretch works more effectively in the body, great. How are you doing here? And oh, smile, fantastic. and stretch, <laughs> and smile. <laughs> All right, let's switch sides. Slowly bringing that opposite leg forward. Good, and let's start the stretch. So really moving with your breath here. Big inhales and exhales, great. So as we start to move through the knees and the ankles and the hips there, we're gonna see more performance with agility, faster movements, healthy joints as we get older, our body starts to get a little bit more rigid. So keeping those joints really lubricated, really juicy, really healthy, right? We have our joints for the rest of our life. We need to take care of them. Think of your joints as like your best friends. You need to give them some loving once in a while. 
right? We ask them to do things all day, every day, and then we like totally ignore them. It's like having a really bad friend. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> We're all friends here. <laughs> all right, take two more breaths. Great, and then let's come out of this, you guys. Come back to your neutral, take a breath. And we'll come in for that behind the back scratch. See, we're scratching friends' backs now. It's all about synergizing. All right, so let's go. Let's move those hands as quickly as you can. Think of all those monkey arms that you're doing in your golf program, right? For you golfers out there, get going. Work those rotators, good. And we actually use this with FMS screening. So a lot of the types of screens that we do are functional movement screen. And this is an awesome mobility tool that we use just to actually check for not only symmetry, but range of motion in the shoulders. All right, take two more breaths here. Good. Internal exhale, use your breath, you guys. Your breath is gonna get you here. Big exhales, inhales. Good, again, go to the tutorials, yeah? If you feel like there's a lot of arms moving around right now, <laughs> push pause. Get into your tutorial, make sure that you're practicing with techniques so you're getting the right results into your body. Take two more, you guys, big inhales. So just a few more monkey arms here, monkey faces, we're almost done, you're doing great. Let it go, you guys, that's it, good job, you guys. Take a breath, breathe all that in, let it go, you did great. That was the extended program for Stretch 2. Congratulations, it's a commitment to your body that will pay off slowly over time. I'm Jana, thank you for joining me, this is Evolve.